this prayer for peace. Brings me to reflect upon my own ancestors. My grandmother and grandfather were raised in the Yemenite Jewish community in Adin and Oam. They both spoke both Hebrew and Arabic, as well as a distinct Yemenite language linguistically recognized as a lingua franca, blending Arabic and Hebrew, the same way Yiddish blends German and Hebrew, and Ladino blends Hebrew and Spanish. And thinking about my father, like all Yemenite children of his generation going back all the way to the rebuilding of the Second Temple of Jerusalem, my father was raised in the Yemenite synagogue to read and recite the Torah in Aramaic, which is seen as a precursor to both Arabic and Hebrew, much like Latin is to English, Spanish, French, etc. What are these things? They are steps back to an original experience, steps back to an original language, steps back to an original source. And that source is the only common ground that we'll know as we try to repair the divisions in our cultures, in our families, in our nations. So I ask myself, to what do I hold myself accountable? Do I hold myself accountable to an ideal? Or do I hold myself accountable to be, to see? <laughs> oh, there you are. Do I hold my heart accountable to be open to a place that can be seen by a being like that? That's original faith. It's a palpable immediacy experienced now. Let it be felt, let it be known in every cell of the body. You've never been closer than you are right now. This is an immediate experience of oneness. Anytime we are together, it's my prayer that we are in an original faith of palpable immediacy of oneness. I want to see through your eyes. I want to feel through your heart. I want to pour out a transmission through the cells of my body that can be known in every cell of your body. I want to know your heartbeat as my heartbeat. Oh, there you are. <laughs> of course, we're all already doing that because the origin of creation is one. And all of creation is in one unified field. But it's just a matter of recognition 